here in this video we are going to see a problem based on volumetric strain for that here we have a question a mild steel flat 150 mm wide i'll write that in the data it is given that there is a mild steel flat which is 150 mm wide by 20 mm thick so width is 150 mm thickness is 20 mm and 6 meter long length 6 meter so it is 6000 mm carries an axial pull of 300 kilo newton load is given so it is 300 into 10 raised to 3 newton if modulus of elasticity of mild steel is 200 kilo newton per mm square modulus of elasticity capital E 200 it is given kilo newton so I'll multiply it by 1000 to get it in terms of newton per mm square and Poisson's ratio mu is 0 0.25 the question is calculate change in length the first part next change in width delta b change in thickness delta t and at last change in volume of the flat so these are the questions in front of us whatever is given we can start solving the problem for the, from that but before i start in the solution i'll draw the diagram it is given that it is a mild steel flat so the cross section is rectangular it is having rectangular cross section so this is the diagram mild steel flat is having width b b is 150 mm then thickness is given as 20 mm which is t is equal to 20 mm next the length is given as 6 meter or we can say 6000 mm length is given then it was said that it carries an axial pull of 300 kilo newton so there is a pull type of load of 300 kilo newton so along the axis of this there is a pull type of load which will be trying to pull this rectangular block and because of this pulling action this load is parallel to length which is 6000 so along the length there will be linear strain that is length will increase and the other two dimensions b and t will decrease so for b and t we would be using lateral strain so now first of all in the solution part i'll say that since cross section area of a rectangular flat it is given by a is equal to b into t so therefore capital a is equal to b is 150 t is 20 so therefore area comes out to be 3000 mm square now after getting the area i can even calculate the volume i'll say that there now therefore volume of rectangular bar is given as v is equal to area into length so therefore volume becomes area is 3000 length is 6000 in terms of m so volume will be 18 into 10 raised to 6 millimeter cube now after getting the area and volume now i'll 
try to get the solution one by one the first thing is change in length which is also called as deflection so here we can say that since deflection in the bar is given by the formula is delta L is equal to PL upon AE so therefore deflection becomes P the value is given in the problem of P it is 300 kilo Newton so I'll write down 300 into 10 raised to 3 Newton multiplied by length is 6000 mm divided by area is 3000 into Young's modulus is 200 into 10 raised to 3 so from this I'll get the answer of deflection which is it comes out to be 3 mm and as we can see in the diagram when the load is applied parallel to the length and it is a pull type of load then this length will increase so this 3 mm indicates increase in length or elongation we can say and this is the first answer now after getting change in length we need to find out change in width and change in thickness for that we require lateral strain and lateral strain will be in the formula of mu which is Poisson's ratio so next I'll say that since Poisson's ratio is given by mu is equal to it is lateral strain upon linear strain lateral strain is E suffix L linear strain is small e so therefore lateral strain E suffix L is equal to mu into linear strain mu value is given as 0 0.25 into linear strain is change in length upon original length so therefore lateral strain will become 0 0.25 into deflection is 3 and length is 6000 so therefore lateral strain will be 1.25 into 10 raised to minus 4 and here even I'll write the separate value of delta L by L so therefore this is called as linear strain so 3 by 6000 that value comes out to be 5 into 10 raised to minus 4 so here I have found out both the values linear strain lateral strain next the question is to find change in width so I'll use lateral strain because it is the lateral dimension as length increases width decreases so therefore lateral strain E suffix L is equal to change in width which is delta b upon original width which is b so therefore lateral strain is equal to delta b upon b now after getting this i'll write down lateral strain is change in width upon original width and here we want this change in width so delta b will be lateral strain into the width which is original lateral strain is 1.25 into 10 raised to minus 4 original width is given in the problem as 150 mm so it is into 150 so therefore change in width the answer comes out to be 0.0, .0 1875 mm and as we can see here when the load has been applied it is parallel to length length will increase width and thickness will decrease so this value indicates there is decrease in the width and this will be the second answer next once we have found out the change in width the next question was to find 
the change in thickness and again I'll use the same concept I'll write down also lateral strain is equal to change in thickness upon original thickness so therefore change in thickness is lateral strain into thickness lateral strain is 1.25 into 10 raised to minus 4 and the original thickness was given in the problem it was 20 so into 20 so therefore the change in thickness my answer is 2.5 into 10 raised to minus 3 mm and again as I have explained when the load is parallel to length length will increase and since it is a pull type of load that is why length will increase and the other two dimensions should decrease so width has decreased and even this thickness is decreased so this is the third answer now comes the last part of the question they are saying to calculate how much is the change in volume so for that we should use the volumetric strain formula so first I'll write down since volumetric strain is given by the formula is volumetric strain is equal to E which is linear strain into 1 minus 2 mu this is the formula so therefore volumetric strain becomes E is the linear strain the value was 5 into 10 raised to minus 4 into 1 minus 2 into mu mu is given as 0 0.25 so from this I will get the answer of volumetric strain E suffix V and that volumetric strain it comes out to be the answer is we can find the volumetric strain in such a way that we can directly get the change in volume so it is also equal to change in volume upon original volume so therefore change in volume will be EV into volume this change in volume we have found out I'll write it as it is the volumetric strain 5 into 10 raised to minus 4 into 1 minus 2 into 0.25 using the same value multiplied by the volume and volume it was 18 we have found out it was 18 into 10 raised to 6 so from this I'll get directly get the value of change in volume which is 4500 mm cube so this much is the change in volume which is the fourth answer so here if we look into the question they were they had told us to calculate these four values change in length we have found out it was 3 mm next the change in width we have calculated it was 0 0.01875 mm next change in thickness 2.5 into 10 raised to minus 3 mm at last the change in volume which is 4500 mm cube and once we have calculated all the values the problem is completed